Hello, sweet friends. Welcome to Carol's Craft Cottage. I'm super excited to be back to share with you some Halloween projects that I created. If you are a follower of my Facebook page, you know that I was away. I went to Bermuda for eight days. Well, it wasn't all Bermuda anyway. It was a cruise. And we were supposed to be in Bermuda for three days, but we got called away because of the hurricane. So we were only there for like a day and a half, but it was a fun time and Bermuda is beautiful if you ever get a chance to go there. So let me go ahead and share with you the dies that I used from Scrap Diva Designs for my project share here. If you're interested in any of the dies, they can be purchased at this website. And I will leave links below to all the dies in Scrap Diva Designs shop for you to shop easily. And if you use Carol 10 at checkout, you will get 10% off your entire order. So let me start with this one that says, Hey Boo. This is really cute. It's got a little ghost on it. It's a cute little sentiment for your projects. This one says spooky and it has a little spider and a little spider web and it's got a bat or several bats in it and this one's really cute too. I have the jack-o'-lantern face. Again, I had done a memory decks card with this but now I have another project to share with you. And then I have Halloween words. Um, I love this script and I know I'll be using this a lot more because I have other plans for this die. Uh, Boo, Spooky, uh, let's see, Pumpkin, Candy, Halloween, October, and Scary. So most definitely you can use the October and the one that says Pumpkin in your fall crafting. So you have fall and Halloween words. I used the 3D ticket booth right here. This was a fun die. This is a box, and I'll show that to you in a little bit. I used the rolled flowers, and the one that I used in this set is this heart right here. And having three, this cuts beautifully. Having three on one die was perfect for as many flowers as I had to make. I also used the scroll bow. This was a this is a pretty bow, and I also used the stitch scallop tags for my projects. So the first whoops, sorry about that. The first one I'm going to show you is the altered pumpkin box from the Dollar Tree. So you know I've done these before, and they're usually fall, but Scrap Diva Designs. Jack-o'-lantern face was perfect to make a uh, jack-o'-lantern out of the pumpkin wooden box. So all you have to do is just paint it. I painted mine orange. You could have painted it black if you wanted to. And this is the dye that I used for the face. Little bow just dropped down. But yeah, so if you look at this really close, for me... I wanted my face a little, the eyes and the nose and the mouth just a little bit bigger for this. So what I did was I cut my um, face out on some black glitter cardstock and then I cut it out again on some heavy black cardstock and I staggered the die to make the face bigger. You see how that's layered? And it looks really cute like that. She has more eyelashes. That's how I did this pumpkin. And what I did was I put my hot glue gun to the wood here to get it to loosen up from these pieces over here. And I just pulled them off and then painted the wood piece here. You could cover this with paper if you wanted to. I just wanted to paint it. And then I covered the backs of the jack-o'-lantern with the same paper that I covered the, the pumpkin with here. And then this is a Scrap Diva Designs bow, 
And this is uh, Scrap Diva Designs uh, Posy, Rose Posy or Rose's Bow. Um, and I just created, I have a tutorial on how to do these roses. So that is the first project. And this is really cute, ready for gift giving. You could put some candy in that or some nail polish and or something like that to give to someone for Halloween. Someone who probably can't trick or treat anymore. Older person would love that. Like a teenager. So let me go ahead and share with you the next altered Dollar Tree project that I did. And it's this right here. And I made this with Scrap Diva Designs rolled rose dye or rolled flower dye, I should say. And again, I'll show it to you. It's this right here. I use this dye right here. And I rolled all these flowers and in the center, I put one of those little foam gold balls that you get at the Dollar Tree as well. And I used uh, orange Brazzle cardstock and I also used gold stickles and when I made the flowers, I rolled them. I put the little gold bead in the center of it. It's just a foam ball. And then I put gold stickles in a, just on my, I have a glass. So I just put the gold stickles, I squeezed it out onto the glass and then I put my finger in it and I went over the edges of the flower so that the tips of these flowers would have a gold sparkle. So that's how I did that. There are over 350 flowers on this foam pumpkin. Now my Dollar Tree had white foam pumpkins. That's what this is. Uh, I didn't see any more when I went recently. And you can still do this on the orange uh, pumpkin that they have there. It would work for that as well. And it's about the same size, so I think it would take 300 flowers, 350. It's between 300 and 350 flowers to do it. And I will tell you that the way I did the stem on the pumpkin was I took a lunch bag and I took my scissors and cut the bottom of the bag so that it would fit over the stem. And all I did was twist, 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 until I got this stem and I also dipped my finger in the gold stickles and ran it over the stem. This right here is some wrapped wire that I got at Hobby Lobby. This is just a sheer ribbon bow with a little acorn. This acorn also comes from Hobby Lobby and these leave dies are from uh, Sizzix. They're the fall leaf dye. That's what that is right there. So I thought this is beautiful. I love this pumpkin, but I only created one because 300 flowers is a lot to do. <laughs> and if you have any white spaces showing, uh, any boo-boos you had cutting out your flowers, just sit, save them to the side and you can cut them. Like you, I used three petals and just rolled it and sticked it, stuck it in there. Uh, if I had some white showing, so it and that works well. And just rub your gold stickles on that. The next project I want to share with you is not another altered project, and this is a 3D uh, ticket booth. Isn't this cute? I have some ideas for some more ticket booths, so you'll be seeing them in the future. And I mounted mine onto a altered Laughing Cow cheese box because I wanted to put all these things around my ticket booth. So this will open up and you can put candy in there. And also with this die, the top comes off and this opens up and you can put whatever you want inside the ticket booth. So here I have a little, um, it's like a felt pumpkin from the Dollar Tree. This little foam skeleton is from Dollar General with uh, some Jolie 
I think it's Jolene stickers uh, that's a little spider on top of him and these were also the Jolene stickers that I had in my stash for a while this is a, a sparkly crow from Michaels that I've had in my stash for a while as well as this skeleton these roses were made with the flower dye the rose dye from Scrap Diva Designs I have another spider here and another ghost. This little sticker here was from, also from Michaels. And these, all these came together in a sticker pack. And all these little spiders are just some shaker material that I put in the corner. And then I have two wired bats flying from the ticket booth. And I just mounted it on some wire and rolled it on a pencil. And I put a bat in the front and the back and sandwiched the wire in between. And we'll go ahead and turn it around here so you can see it. This is the bottom. I just put some little pom-pom trim on there and some pearl trim there. And you can see to hide the wire there, I just stuck a flower on top of it. That was an extra rolled flower I had from the... The pumpkin I showed you over there and I put a little rose here this spider web is from the Halloween gum ball um, add-on I just cut that out in black and I put it in the back and then here you'll see uh, some more of the roses and the skeleton I thought this came out really cute I love it I think it's a super gift to give someone because they will display that year after year with their Halloween decorations. And then the last thing I have to share with you is this little tag album that I made. There's quite a few tags in here and I made it with the Stitch Scallop Tag set from Scrap Diva. And I did use, I didn't show it here, but I did use the Halloween stamp and die set for this little tag. And this is just a sticker that I had in my stash. And this skeleton die is from my stash. Here is the Spooky Sentiment from Scrap Diva. And this Hey Boo. It's hard to do this so you can see it. The Hey Boo is from Scrap Diva and this little pumpkin and ghost set is from Cottage Cuts. This little sticker here is from Michaels and I can see I had one of my little diamond dots slip from where I glued it so I'll have to fix that. And then here is Candy Please. This is from the Halloween stamp and die set from Scrap Diva. And here we have a crow with a pumpkin that says, Beware. This is from Cottage Cuts. Also, I have this cute little owl. Um, he's had something that I had put together from last year. I just took him out and used him on this tag. This is a, I'm not sure what die that is. I'm not sure because... I had this made last year and I didn't use it. So I'm not sure what he's from. And then this little bat here was also cut out from last year. And I know that is a Sizzix die for sure. And this one's just a sticker. It says, Happy Halloween, Boo. This is Scrap Diva Designs, a large spider shaker with the... Halloween word that says spooky. Isn't that cool? I love this. I love the font on that. And then I have another die. This is an AliExpress um, ghost. This is a boo sticker from Michaels. And then the little candy corn um, comes with this die set. This is also an AliExpress bat that I had done last year and had not used with the word scary on the top from Scrap Diva Designs. And I have a little um, key sticker here that I got from my stash. It was probably from Michaels. 
and they're all blank on the back for either journaling or putting pictures. So thank you so much for joining me today. I appreciate it. I'm back in the craft room crafting after my little vacation. And until next time, everyone, happy crafting. Bye-bye.